Welcome back. I'm Ted Thomas, and uh, let me start out by saying I'm not an attorney, but I am an entrepreneur, and I've been involved in tax lien certificates and tax deeds for 30 years. I started as an investor, and then I became an educator, and uh, I've created everything from interviews to audio CDs, DVDs, world-class coaching for people that really want to do this and make money. So what am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk briefly about when to use a quiet title and what does it mean to, to have a quiet title. So the title of this particular video is when to use quiet title. And I'll show you an example of that. This is a challenge for a lot of people that get involved in the tax lien certificate business. And I want to make sure you don't make any mistakes. So I'm going to be right back. When to use quiet title. So tax auctions take place for a reason. We've learned a lot about tax auctions over the years and, and um, they've been going on for a couple of hundred years. Part of all that, we've learned that when the county sells a property, they might not have done all the clerical work correctly, or when anybody sells a property, they might not have assured that the loans were off the property. If we're talking about properties that have had difficulty and gone to tax auctions, they go to tax auction for a reason, and it's usually not pretty. Now, the property might not be pretty because someone didn't take care of it, so it's probably been used and abused, but it also might have title problems or land problems or whatever. And that's when a quiet title is gonna come into use. Now you might wanna acquire a property at an auction and you might wanna, when you sell it, use a quiet title. Usually the government officials mean well. Uh, they are in the process of getting rid of a lot of property. And as they try to get rid of those properties, they might hurry and not get all the paperwork. So that doesn't mean that they intentionally sold you something, but they're going to disclaim any problems. So a quiet title will say in big bold letters in most cases that whoever is issuing the quiet title is disclaiming, disclaiming, in other words, it's not their problem anymore, and they're disclaiming anything that's on the property, whether it's bad or good, they are just passing the property on to you. So if you bought a property at auction, you might want to sell and use a quiet title and disclaim any responsibility so that you didn't have any process. You don't wanna have any problem with the property. Now, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a broker, I'm just an entrepreneurial guy that learned how to do tax lien certificates and tax deeds. And then I developed a lot of questions from friends and I helped them and then I slowly got into the business of educating people, teach them how to do it. But I use it for my own investment, uh, own investment requirements and you can too. And there's just some things you have to be cautious of. You need to think about who you're listening to in this business. So I'm not gonna suggest that you go to a club and get, in, get information. I'm not gonna suggest you get it from your friends. But if you are gonna get it from an attorney, I'd first interview that attorney and make sure they know about the chain of title and things like that. You don't want to hire a young guy that's a gunslinger and he knows everything about the law and he graduated number one in his class at Harvard. That's not the person you want. You want a gray haired old guy that's been doing this for a little while. Tax buyers make a lot of money if they're shrewd and they're conservative. You don't want to be bold. You don't want to be aggressive. My whole system is this, buy low, sell low and move, move on to the next property. Now I keep telling you in these videos that I'm not an attorney for a reason. I don't want to be in the, accused of giving legal advice, but I've got to tell you there's some things you've got to be careful of. And one of them is quiet title. And another one is quit claim deeds. And everybody gets this stuff confused and gets upset about it. But if you want to sell a property and not have anything to do with it, then you sell it with a quit claim deed. Now, a lot of people say, well, the husband and wife got together, uh, they now get divorced, he should quit claim his interest in the property. That's fine. When he does quit claim, now she owns the property. Well, what about if there was loans on that property they didn't know about? What if there was some liens on the property? What if there was an encumbrance you didn't know about? You know, so properties could have burdens. They call those encumbrances. Where do I go to research? Well, I try to number one research at the county, but the county will tell you if you ask any any uh, question, they will simply say, "Oh, I can't tell you that. I'm not an attorney, and I can't give legal advice. I can't give legal advice." We'll hear that a million times at tax auctions. Well, you're only asking a simple question like. What's the price of the property? Oh, I can't give you legal advice. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense the way they answer the question. So the point is, you're gonna to have to start doing some research, all right? Now, the easiest way 
is to hire an attorney that knows this and put him on some kind of short retainer and say, I'll pay you so I can ask you the, get these questions. Because if you answer the question and know what you're talking about, it makes it a lot better. 99% of the people that I do business with don't even want to go look at the property, which is the biggest mistake they could make, let alone do the research I'm talking about. So here I'm putting this in my resource center so that you can look at it and look at it again and again. Be a shrewd and conservative investor. Buy low, sell low. Understand what quiet title means. Understand that you're passing properties on. You don't want to pass on any liens that are on this property. You're not making any judgments. Title companies make judgments. Attorneys make judgments. And people on the jury make a judgment. So we don't want to do any of that stuff. So we want to make sure we're using the right people in. So how would you use a quiet title? Well, first, let me give you a little explanation, but I'm not giving you the legal advice. I'm just trying to tell you what Wikipedia said. So you can look up these things in Wikipedia and get a little baseline information, and that's enough to be able to talk to the attorney. So what did Wikipedia have to say? I'm quoting, special legal proceeding to determine ownership of real property. Legal proceedings, a lawsuit, folks. A party claim of ownership to land can file an action to quiet title, which serves as a sort of a lawsuit. That's exactly right, a lawsuit. Anyone and everyone has claim to the land. So they file a lawsuit when they do this. So the quiet title people are going to do what? What they're going to do is they might end up filing a lawsuit. Okay, now that's pretty broad. So I'll come back and do a little bit more of that in a minute. Why are you gonna have to get this? Why are you gonna have to do a quiet title? Why are you issuing a quit claim deed? Well. There's lots to say about that, but you don't need to know very much. What you really need to know is that when you go to sell, the title company for the buyer is going to say, is the title clear? And you want to say, yes, but do you really know? You're going to say, well, I bought it from the county. Well, I tell you who isn't going to trust the county. The title company won't trust them because if the county hasn't done the paperwork right, they've got the insurance policy that's going to have to pay. So someone is going to quiet the title. Now, if you don't want to do it, just tell the buyer, you do it, let them do it. In many cases, if you want to sell quickly, you'll probably do the quiet title yourself. All right, could there be a mortgage left on the property? You don't know, because you don't know if the county did the paperwork right. Could there be another kind of lien on the property of any kind? Could there be a judgment from a, from a vendor that put a new roof on? Could there be a, a, a state lien or a federal lien? You don't know unless you've done a quiet title. So when you want to sell, what you could do is you could sell with a quit claim deed and say in your deed, I disclaim any responsibility. Because don't think for a second that the county didn't sell it to you that way. They sold it to you and you disclaimed that. Someone is going to have to quiet the title on this property. All right, nothing to be afraid of. It's just a process. Sooner or later, it will get cleared. Now, can it get cleared in two months? Two or three months is usually what it takes, but I've had them take me a whole year. So I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, but I'm just here as an entrepreneur, another buyer, another seller, just like you are. And I know if I use a quit claim deed, I can disclaim all responsibility. Wow. Quit claim deed disclaims all interest and does not promise good title conveyed. Now, if I've told the buyer that and told them that ahead of time, that's legal eagle. But if they find out afterwards that they're going to be unhappy, well, I'm going to tell you when you're going to find out. You're going to find out after you get the property because the county doesn't even send you that stuff for 60 or 90 days. So Ted says, be conservative. Just take your time. Know what you're getting. Now, you might have had a property that's worth 400000 and you just bought it for 50000 I know what you're going to do. You're going to buy it. And when it says they didn't have a clear title, you're just going to start a title process. It might cost you three or 4000 So let's see, you spent fifty, spent another three or 4000 Looks like to me like that was a good deal. So just understand and don't get a shock and don't get panicky, okay? So title companies recognize what? They recognize that the county doesn't always do the work right. Now, you and I would never say that the government would make mistakes. Well, I'm going to tell you, they make a ton of mistakes and you're going to be the victim of it, but there's processes in place to handle all that. So visualize if someone left a mortgage on the property or there was a lawsuit on the property and you didn't know about it, now you do a quiet title. You clear it all off of there. If you're going to sell it, 
you sell it with a quit claim deed to make sure that you didn't take responsibility for those. So it's not to scare you away, it's just to take your education level from zero to here. So why not watch the video again? So how about this? We're talking about all this and some people actually worry about talking to the property owner. Well, I understand that. You wouldn't want to talk to the property owner about this kind of thing, would you? When you're in the tax lien and deed business, you're never going to talk to the property owners. You're going to actually do all the work yourself with an attorney or you'll do it with paperwork. Uh, there are some cases in Georgia where they'll give you the opportunity to talk to the owner if you want to, but it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. So don't let that be a uh, hold you back from getting involved in tax lien certificates or tax deeds. Now, if you learned a lot and you're not a member of my community, now's the time to think about doing that. Now, just below me, you can sign up to be part of the community and I'm going to give you, I said, I'm going to give you my gift of a one hour course on tax lien certificates and tax deeds. And it won't be anywhere near as hard as what you just did.